Nate Silver's website, 538, released what may be the worst political spectrum and political rankings I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, before I, I dive into it, listen, let me just say I've always been a half defender of Nate Silver. Um, Nate Silver, back during the, I think, the John McCain, Barack Obama election, I think he got 48 out of 50 states right. And then in the next election, he got 50 out of 50 states right when it was Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama. And in terms of uh, the election that almost everybody blew, he was the least wrong. Um, I think he had it at like 71% chance that Hillary uh, would win. Now, a lot of you may laugh at that, but if, if any of you have played poker, you know that if you have 71% odds going to the river, about 30% of the time, you get defeated. <laughs> so it's... Uh, and, and he's right on the polling. The polling showed Hillary up massively in, um, in the popular vote, and the election showed her up massively in the popular vote, so the polls weren't that wrong. It was just the way that the support for Trump was distributed throughout the country took out the Rust Belt for him, which is why he won. So Nate Silver has always been, um, in my opinion, he's right more than he's wrong, but when he's wrong, God, is he wrong. So he did not see Trump coming at all in terms of getting the nomination. Um... And that was horrendously stupid. Uh, he always... I feel like he was way too anti-Bernie Sanders. Um, so I don't think his his analysis on the numbers is usually pretty good. But I think his analysis of the actual politics of everything is terrible. And he doesn't know anything in terms of how we're in a super populist and anti-corruption era. Um, so, But anyway, this is my long spiel about how I don't despise Nate Silver. Okay, I don't despise him. Um, but having said that... Look at this chart that was released on his website. Now, to be clear, to be fair to him, I don't know if he, uh, you know, created this or whatever. In fact, I I tend to think he didn't. But whoever works at 538 who created this honestly needs to immediately be fired because they're just objectively terrible at their job. <laughs> this chart makes no sense in so many different ways. So first, let's just talk about the layout of of the spectrum itself. Okay. The spectrum itself, apart from where the people are on the spectrum, is just utterly made up. So, at the top, they have liberty. It's a, like a fucking diamond shape, um, or a, a, whatever you want to call it, a sideways square. <laughs> at the top, you have libertarian. At the bottom, you have populist. Then you have moderate in the middle, left liberal, and right conservative. I mean, the number of ways in which this is silly. So, I, in my opinion, the most accurate political spectrum is um, the square one that has libertarian left, um, authoritarian left, authoritarian right, libertarian right. That's, as every, out of everything I've come across, that seems to me to be the most reasonable and most accurate in terms of describing people properly. So, the spectrum of libertarian versus authoritarian tends towards social issues. So that's like, okay, where do you fall on social issues? Whatever it may be, whether it's uh, marijuana or abortion or um, government control of, say, the press, things of that nature. Where do you fall on that spectrum? Are you live and let live, hands off on social issues, let people do what they want and give people maximum freedom? Or are you, let's have government control on social issues? That would be authoritarian. And then left and right is pretty self-explanatory. We don't need to go into what yeah, constitutes left and right. Um, but what they're doing, they're just utterly confused here. So there's no, there's no authoritarianism. That's not accounted for in this chart. That needs to be accounted for in any serious um, analysis of anybody's political ideology. I mean, that's super important. Do you lean libertarian or do you lean authoritarian? Uh, how you leave that out is already like strike one, you're out. We're, done, we're not having this conversation anymore. But then look what they did with populist. They literally define populist as more government intervention. That's not populist. That's not at all. You made that up. That's not populist at all. I mean, we discussed this before. The definition of populism is basically doing the popular will of the people. So, you know, fighting for the, the, the what ordinary people want. That's populism. So to frame it as pop, populism is just more government? What? Again, totally made up. So uh, let me give you an example of a populist position where the answer is very clearly less government. Ending the drug war and legalizing marijuana. 
polls show overwhelmingly that people want to end the drug war and legalize marijuana. That's the populist position. So that's less government. Re releasing nonviolent drug offenders, shrinking government in that realm. That's the populist position. Ending uh, warrantless, unconstitutional NSA spying. That's less government. That's the populist position. So they're just, I mean, they are so confused. Now, putting aside how they don't know what populism is, and this spectrum is just silly, look at where they have everybody ranked. Okay, they have, th according to 538, Hillary Clinton is to the left of Elizabeth Warren, and Hillary Clinton is more populist than Elizabeth Warren. I don't even... According to 538, Hillary Clinton is more populist than Bernie Sanders. I'm not kidding when I say whoever created this chart should be fired. Because they just don't, they're not, they don't know what they're doing. It's like, it's like you hire somebody um, to, I don't know, fill in the blank, put out a fire, and they make it bigger. <laughs> That's a bad example, but you get the point. You're just bad at your job. It's like you hire somebody to, to you know, cook some food and... They don't. They throw out all of your food. That, okay, you're fired. What do you want me to tell you? You're terrible at your job. Look at this. Look at this. It's embarrassing. Ugh. Elizabeth Warren is, as far as the Senate goes, she's the second best senator in the country by far. Okay, Bernie Sanders is the best. Elizabeth, people accuse Bernie of having a, a, a blind spot on foreign policy. To an extent, that's true, but overall, I think he's correct on most of the foreign policy issues. Elizabeth Warren has an actual blind spot on foreign policy. Like, really, really, really bad blind spot on foreign policy. She voted for Trump's abysmal, you know, gigantic, criminal, so-called defense budget. I mean, that's almost inexcusable. But still, by far, the second best senator in the country. To say Hillary Clinton is more populous than Elizabeth Warren... I have no words for how stupid that is. Elizabeth Warren gave us the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which returned $12 billion to the American people. She actually wants to regulate and tax Wall Street. That's the populist position. You know who's not in favor of bringing back Glass-Steagall? Hillary Clinton. You know who's not in favor of raising taxes on Wall Street? Hillary Clinton. So, I mean, again, just beyond embarrassing, 538 should honestly retract this because it's just that bad. And not bad because I personally disagree with it, bad because you're just empirically wrong in your description of stuff, and you have a terribly confusing and inaccurate uh, chart, never mind where you actually place people on that chart. And um, it says a lot about the other people who work at 538. Again, not necessarily to pick on Nate Silver, because I don't think he had anything to do with this particular chart, but my guess is the same people who were the election experts who... Um, who predicted that Kamala Harris would is the front runner based on nothing? The data journalist people say Kamala Harris is the front runner based on nothing, and then there were some that pick Amy Klobuchar is going to win the nomination. You, you literally have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. My guess is those same people are the people who made this chart, and it says a lot. <laughs>